Hey everybody, Jamie here from the Enigmatic Nomadics YouTube channel and I'm just kind of in a mad dash to pack all my stuff and get down to Parker for the van build for a couple of weeks and so I'm not able to film the process of going down there so I'm going to pass that off to Neil who's one of the volunteers on the solar side and Neil is going to show you a little bit about what it's like to be here. For those of you who couldn't make it, we're moving from Lake Havasu down to Parker as kind of a group and he also has a youtube channel and that is in the lower thirds right here if you want to go check that out it'll also be a hyperlink uh, in the notes so thanks for watching neil's rendition of heading down to the van build see ya hey guys i'm neil my channel is teardrop rv travels this will be my second year at the van build helping out and uh, last year I did solar and carpentry and lots of other things. And this year I think I'm concentrating on solar. So I am at Craggy Wash, as Jamie said. And I have a really small camp. I see if I can do this without the sun getting in the way. Probably not. I have a little teardrop. I built it myself. It's a nice little rig, nice little setup for me. I am uh, an amputee. I walk on prosthetic legs. And I only have five fingers. So there's sort of fingers over here. So... For those of you that have done this before, this is going to be old hat. But for those of you that don't know what the experience is like to pack up and move, uh, do you know you can stay 14 days in, uh, in any given location on BLM land, then you have to move 25 miles away. So, of course, Parker is about 40 miles away from where we're at, so that's not a big deal. And so I'm ready to pack up and move. So the things I keep in mind when I pack up and move is I bag all my trash because you pack it in, pack it out. Don't leave trash for anybody. Matter of fact, I pick up other people's trash more often than not. And so I bag up all my trash, make sure all that's good to go. Now, the day before that I move, I tear down my camp. I am disabled, and so therefore, if I was trying to tear my camp, hook it up, and drive all in the same day, I would be worn out. So when I get down to where I'm going, I have to set camp back up. So that's something to consider. So I tear down my camp one day. And the next day, I hook up and I drive down and I set up my camp again. My camp's pretty easy to set up for me. And if you want to see more of my camp, just look right down, down below right here. I'll, I'll put my, uh, my YouTube channel there. And uh, you can see more of my camp and see more of my teardrop and how I set it up. Unless you're already a subscriber, then hey, thanks for watching me over here on Jamie's channel. All right, I'm going to get to tearing down my rig. So I'm just going to set up a time lapse and uh, get to work. never seems to fail as soon as you either A, turn on a camera, or B, start to break down your camp, everybody comes by and wants to say hello and talk. So breaking down camp took me a lot, much longer than normal, but I'm glad everybody stopped by to say hello. So I'm just going to tidy up a few things out here, and then tomorrow, pack up a few things, and I'll be heading down the road to Parker. So I'll catch back up with you guys in the morning. Well, it is the next morning. Got my rig all hooked up. I'm ready to go to Parker. How about we go take a ride? Okay, guys. So I've made a quick stop right in Lake Havasu. Dropped off some trash. Made sure I had water that I needed so when I get out to Parker, I don't have to run back out to town. When, if you're new to this, if you drop off trash somewhere, Make sure it's okay. Just don't go dumping in places and upsetting people. And I always make sure that if some place lets me uh, dump my trash um, in their trash cans or in their dumpster, I always like to spend money there. That's just the nice thing to do. So, I tell you what, I'm going to get out on the road and I'm going to head to Parker. It's about a 45 minute to an hour drive. 
and to get to Parker from Havasu, you just head straight south on 95. So if you take the Havasu exit off of I-40, then uh, it will take you straight into Parker. So let's go to Parker. So we just hung a left right there in Parker at uh, California Avenue, and it continues on 95 South. And uh, we're getting ready to come up on Shea Road, S-H-E-A, Shea. Um, I don't know. I have to spell it because, uh, because I thought it was spelled something else, so you guys know. So once you get through... Parker and hang that left on California. You just come out here a little ways to Shea Road and in around seven miles or so I think uh, we will be at the location for the van build. Now I will tell you that it is paved all the way out to the van build but this pavement is uh, not in great shape, so I wouldn't be doing any drag races out here. Um, I'm going to take it nice and slow and easy, and I will get back with you guys in just a minute. Alright guys, well I am just about to the van build. And I use my odometer trip meter thing. You know, it's well, mine doesn't spin because it's electronic. They used to spin. You guys know that, right? They used to spin. Anyway, um, it's about uh, not seven, eight, eight miles uh, to the van build. So from where you turn off of Shea Road, so it's out there a ways. And uh, I've actually been out there and had to go do some other things, and now I'm coming back. So I'm just going to let you guys kind of see the drive in. Um, it's not too bad. Um, and um, anyway, let me just shut up and we'll drive on into the van building. 